Super Fibonacci spirals enable a simple and fast technique for the generation of orientation or rotation samples. Computing with orientation is a fundamental task in computer vision, for example in estimating camera motion or the motion of objects in the scene. Orientation also plays a crucial role in any simulation of real-world processes, from very small scale, such as in this protein docking problem, to very large scale, as in the simulation of planetary formation by NASA. In all of these tasks, we typically try to solve a minimization problem over the space of orientations, or we need to compute an integral. A simple, but often the best choice for solving these tasks is by sampling the space of orientations. For computing with orientations, it is often convenient to work with unit quaternions, meaning we can think of the orientations as samples on the unit 3 sphere. As a start, let's have a look at two samplings of the common 2 sphere, a uniform sampling on the left and the Fibonacci sampling on the right. The two sample sets are not equally suited for estimating an integral over the sphere. In fact, the quality of the estimation depends directly on the so-called discrepancy. Loosely speaking, the discrepancy of a point set is the worst case error we make when we estimate the area or volume of an arbitrary spherical region by simply counting the samples. How can we generate a Fibonacci-like sampling on the unit 3 sphere? Let's recall standard Fibonacci sampling on the unit interval. This is done by taking the fractional part of the index of a sample divided by an irrational number. We can extend this to the unit square by taking the index as the value on the other axis. This means we consider a simple parametric linear curve and sample it at regular intervals. Now we can map this square to the unit disk. The important point here is the square root. It ensures that infinitesimal areas are preserved. Plugging into Cartesian coordinates yields the Fibonacci spiral. Sampled at regular intervals, it provides the Fibonacci sampling of a disk. For generating the Fibonacci sampling of a sphere, it is easiest to start with a cylinder. It's well known that the cylinder can be mapped to the sphere in an area-preserving way by simply projecting a long race orthogonal to the principal axis. Sampling the cylinder is easy by mapping the square onto the cylinder surface. This mapping is isometric. And from there we get the Fibonacci spiral on the sphere. I speculate that the good properties of this spiral come from the fact that we used area-preserving mappings in all steps. For our problem this means, can we find a volume-preserving mapping from a convenient domain for sampling the three-sphere? Indeed, there is such a mapping starting from a solid cylinder. The mapping given on the right clearly generates unit vectors in R4. A proof that it is volume-preserving is in the paper. The solid cylinder is convenient for sampling if we consider it as the product of an interval and a disk. The interval can be sampled by standard Fibonacci sampling. And for the disk, we use the mapping from the square. Together, this yields a parametric curve for sampling the solid cylinder. Notice that I chose different constants for the two domains. This will turn out to be important. Plugging the spiral in the cylinder into the mapping to the three sphere yields a spiral on the sphere, nicely exhibiting the expected symmetry. The sampling algorithm is now extremely simple generate regularly spaced samples in the unit interval, and plug into the simple curve equation. It remains to discuss the magic constants. I initially expected it is best to keep one of them the golden ratio. For this choice, the super golden ratio led to good results, hence the name super Fibonacci spiral. It turned out that fixing one constant to the golden ratio is not ideal, and for now I suggest the choice shown on the right. The resulting sampling algorithm is extremely fast. In fact, it is faster than any other technique I tested, including uniform sampling. And, as hoped, the discrepancy of the sampling in the space of orientations is better than any other technique with linear runtime. Summarizing, Super Fibonacci sampling is a very simple technique with trivial implementation that can generate an arbitrary number of orientation samples very quickly and the samples are very well distributed. Source code and data are available on GitHub, and I thank you for your attention.